Hello, salut, ciao, hola, oi. Guys, if you don't know me and if you don't know my channel, my name is Gabriela and this is your Brazilian spot. Here I share everything related to Brazil, news, language, curiosities, history, and etc. And today the video is not so specific about Brazil, but obviously it's related because I'm going to talk about three different apps to learn language and these apps are very good for many reasons that I'm going to talk here. Also this video is for you that uh, once you compare these apps and if you don't know you are wondering which one is better for you, which one should you use and etc. So let's go to the video. Okay guys, so the apps that I'm talking about are Mondly, Italki and Buzu. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to talk about is Mondly. So what can you expect to find on Mondly? A thousand lessons and talks, 5,000 words and phrases, daily lessons, so 365 lessons per year. So to make sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to use my app here, I'm going to open on my phone and I will put somehow in the screen for you to have a look okay um, you know what I'm talking about so you can understand a little bit more about monthly okay so I will start recording my screen right now so now I'm going to open monthly so this is the very first uh, screen that we see when you open monthly okay I am um, learning Spanish right now so you can see the little flag uh, just in the corner with my picture and what can you see here? Well, we have some different things here. This uh, hola part is, ev is everything in Portuguese because I am learning Spanish, but my first language is Portuguese, right? So we have here hola, lição diária, so daily lessons, chatbot, um, and basic vocabulary, okay? So then what it happens when we click in one of these, hola. So we have a few lessons, um, so we have like the, the time that it takes me to do all these lessons, which is good because then you can control, for example, if you want to do like just 10 minutes, you know that uh, this, this one, for example, would be okay. Uh, all right and if obviously they are different lessons and you would spend just a few minutes in each of them so here it's saying that you're going to learn 60 uh, words and 45 phrases so just a quick example and then we have uh, daily lessons here you can see that um, every day you have a lesson and it's saying your um, daily lesson is ready so you can start uh, in this uh, orange button here and the uh, weekly weekly tests that we have okay and monthly challenge all right so if you go something very good that i thought here is the chatbot because uh okay i have done this this uh let's do the the hotel i will do just for you to see because it's something very nice to practice your speaking you know it's a, it's a good way to practice your speaking so let's start i will do just for you to see okay hola Buenas tardes. Hola. So then they gave me two options to answer her. So I can say buenas tardes or hola. I will say buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Qué clase de habitación desearía? Then... Una habitación de no fumadores con dos camas. Yo necesito una habitación con baño. Una habitación con baño. So then we have like three options of um, answer for this lesson, for this question. So uh, what she speaks, there is also always uh, in my first language, the translation show. So Spanish and Portuguese, I can answer whatever I want, okay? So, yo necesito una habitación con baño. ¿Cuántas personas? Para dos personas. Para una persona. Dos adultos, dos niños. Para una persona. ¿Por cuánto tiempo permanecerá usted? Yo me quedaré en el hotel hasta el viernes. Hace cinco semanas. Esta semana. Esta semana. So here I got some points and they show 
for example, like where I am in the list of people that are also learning language uh, around the world and etc. Okay, so let's go back to the to the main. Okay, so here then we have a basic vocabulary, a vocabulary básico. Uh, we click here and then again we have the number of words we're going to see, phrases and the time that we're going to use to finish this, okay? And after guys, uh, you can see a lot of topics, you know, family, countries, romance, uh, seasons, trip, vacation, etc, etc. So there are a lot of things to see here, all right? And then finally, kids, because if you have the premium on monthly, you have the kids part. So it's nice for your kids, for example, if you want your kids to learn a second language, then it's perfect. And then lessons, which are lessons, okay? Is the one we just saw before. There's here like all the options that we just saw, okay? Everything telling like grammar, for example. Uh, there's like 186 words, 90 phrases, and the time 120 minutes, okay? E statistics, you can see the minutes that have you done, the words and the phrases, okay, in a day, for example. And finally, you see here like the global uh, or like in Brazil, uh, where I am in the, in the list of people that are playing. Okay, when you come here back in the statistics, I forgot to show you, but when you press like in this little brain, you know, you press here, then it shows like everything that I've learned so far, you know, everything here is in Portuguese. I can click. Adios, la madre. Yeah, so then, you know, this is quite good, so I can do like a quick uh, review of the things. I can also change the language here. So it was in Portuguese and then I'll put in Spanish, okay. Encantado, encantado de conocerte, then I can see the translation. Anyways, guys, uh, it's this is monthly, okay? This is a great, great app. I think there's like different things to, to practice the language. Uh, I've been using and I've been enjoying a lot because I think we need to learn language in a fun way. So I would be like very bored to have always like um, formal lessons and things like that. So I think monthly is a great opportunity. So let's talk a little bit about the price. The price of monthly in Brazil for one month and one language is um, in reais, uh, 29.90 reais. It's on sale right now because we are in November, so it's like Black November. You can pay a unique price to 41 languages and have access to uh, the rest of your life. So this is like a great deal because then if you want to learn another language after, you will be able to use this app. But if you prefer just one language, there is plans for one language as well, okay? I will leave the link here in the description for you to have a look. So now that we have talked a little bit about uh, monthly, let's talk about italki. Italki it's very different of monthly in many things, okay? Because the, the way that works is completely different and I'm going to explain you why. First, because uh, on italki you don't have, it's not an app like with this kind of tools that we just saw on Monthly. It's not something that you do by yourself. Italki is a place that you hire a teacher. It's not, you don't hire a teacher, but you buy lessons from a teacher and you have teacher from all over the world, okay? So for example, I am a teacher on italki. If you go to italki, you're going to find me. And if you want lessons with me, then you can <laughs> uh, buy lessons from me. And okay, teachers on italki, they can charge you from $4 to, I don't know, whatever, depends on the teacher, okay? So the, the, the start price is uh, $4 and well, it's nice because you can talk to people from everywhere in the world. So if you want a native teacher, you can find. If you want someone for, from your country uh, that you are able to, you know, ask questions in your own language, in, in your native language, then you 
can find so for example I had lessons Italian lessons with uh, an Italian I had Spanish lessons with people from Peru Venezuela so um, it's it's good because you have a lot of options you know and besides that you can find different types of lessons with teachers like specialized teachers or just uh, tutors professional teachers or tutors it doesn't matter it uh, which matters like you can invest as much as you can in and you can find exactly what you want so if you want a teacher that is specialized on TOEFL for example you can find this teacher and that's what I talk is you know they they want to offer you what you need and there's like forums where people talk about the language so for example a French teacher can uh, post something about the language oh you know this is a very common question and I came here to explain you and people go and comment and and there is this kind of interaction you can also interact uh, to other people that are learning language that for example you can teach and you can have this exchange with people you know so let's say I'm learning Italian and someone is learning Portuguese then I can teach Portuguese and they can teach me Italian this is a little bit more informal because I mean you're not paying so um, you don't have this kind of obligation with someone but you can uh, do this kind of exchange as well I would say that the ideal thing is to have an app uh, and I talk here because I think both things are necessary, if you know what I mean. And the price of italki, I told you, uh, it depends on the teacher that you are going to pay, but it's paid in dollars, and depending on the culture that you are, you need to think about this conversion. Anyways, I love italki, I have experience as a student, I have experience as a tutor, and I think it's one of the best apps ever and now to finish let's talk a little bit about Bizu so in Bizu you can find more than a thousand lessons and you can learn 12 languages okay so I will tell you the languages here English Spanish French German Italian Portuguese Chinese Japanese Polish Turkish Russian Arabic so they have less options than monthly for example so you have the premium option where you learn just one language and you have the premium plus option where you can learn the 12 languages that they offer and you have some other advantage um, in this plan uh, what I think it's nice about Bizu, uh, apart from this, you know, so let's talk a little bit about what the app offers, okay? For example, you can have a feedback from natives uh, about your writing, your audio, for example, you can have an audio or writing thing that someone is going to correct. That's quite good. They also show a little bit of the words that you have learned, you know, uh, the strong words, medium words and weak words and the amount of words that you have seen so the prices starts from almost six euros per month and you have other options like premium premium plus or you know if you want uh, two years one year one month so you can have some variations but you have these two options premium and premium plus well just to finish here what I what I think all of these apps are very good if you can have all of them it should be perfect but definitely each of them has something special you need to think what do you think it's nice for you you know to learn and choose my opinion is italki is necessary so you must have italki and choose another app each of them has something special but italki definitely is good because you're going to talk to native people okay and this is a great opportunity to increase not just your vocabulary but to see things as a native you know and to have this opportunity to talk to them so anyway guys let me know which one you're going to choose after this video because I'm pretty sure you're going to choose one or, or two of them I'll leave the link in the description to all of these apps really hope that you enjoyed this video the review of these apps and and thank you so much for watching this video and obviously if you are interested about Portuguese Brazil and this kind of topics this kind of reviews don't forget to subscribe to the channel ciao ciao